Alrighty fam, welcome back to the channel. Um, thought I'd do this honey, this video. Uh, we're already back in application season. Um, thought I would share some knowledge about non-resident applications in Idaho. A little bit about Idaho. So right now there's open application for the general deer season and the general elk seasons that are provided here in Idaho. So they're over the counter. Basically how you're gonna apply December 10th at 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. Um, what you're gonna need to do, you're gonna need to lock, create a Idaho account. So you're gonna go in the upper right hand corner like you're gonna buy a license. You're going to create an account. You're gonna fill in all your information. They're gonna give you an account number, blah, blah, blah. You're gonna get all ready before that time, okay? Don't try to be doing it at the last minute. And then 10 to 15 minutes before 10 a.m., you're gonna to wanna to make sure you can log into your account, you're all ready. Um, and what they do is basically they put you in a big pool, you're waiting, and then once 10 a.m. hits, they're gonna give you a number. You know, if there's 12,000 people in that pool, then you're, you could be one or you could be 12,000. Those numbers are randomly generated and randomly assigned. And then that's where you're in line. So it doesn't matter if you're 30 minutes before or if you log in five minutes before, everyone has that same opportunity to get an over the counter tag here in Idaho. Um, jumping on my screen, you can see circling, um, scrolling down here. This is the amount of non-resident elk tags that are provided here in Idaho, 12,815. The number of deer tags, 14,000 for regular, um, which is mule deer, which have some white tail hunts in there again, some there's gonna be some weird things, you know, every state has weird things. And then there's some white tail deer hunts that are, you know, just white tail. So you're gonna to need to do a little bit of research, um, see which zone you wanna hunt or which unit. So deer tags are distributed by unit. So I don't know how many total units there are here in Idaho. 78, I believe, you know, one at the top, 78 at the bottom uh, eastern corner of Idaho. And then elk are distributed by zones. So jumping here onto this next page, you can see there's an amount of tags per zone. So you start with the Bannock and then, you know, the last is the Weezer River. So there's a ton of tags, a, d a ton of different zones, I should say. So looking over here in the right hand side, you can see this map. So you can see all these units, 46 through 56 is in the South Hills, you know, two, oh, 28 to 26 and 27 is the Middle Fork. We got Salmon, 28, 21, 20, 20 a. 36B. So you can see there's zones. It's usually a, a, a makeup of a few different uh, units. And then the second thing, the second caveat is it, within each zone, there is a typically there's an A tag and then there's a B tag. Typically the A tag is an archery only. The B tag is like a rifle. So you know, you're gonna have to do a lot of research on your end to see, okay, first, maybe I wanna hunt close to Boise because I have family there, I can stay there, who knows? Um, so you wanna hunt the Boise River. So you have to decide, do I hunt A? There's only 26 tags. You can see um, they have all this information, the zone, zone details. They'll give you the different um, the different season dates, sorry. So archery, you know, it might be the, the whole month of September and then it'll give you like, well, you could kill an elk, you could kill a cow or a bull, you know, things to all look for. B tag might be rifle and it's just a week and it's just antlered. So, but there's 342 tags, so you have a better odds. Um, 
lots of lots of uh, options that way and then if we go back you can see the regular deer tags are per unit so again starting at one going down to 78 you can see you know there's a ton of tags given out unit four or you know throughout unit 35 there's only 17 tags so you're going to be and you're going to be have to be high higher up in the in the unit in the number count in the pool count to maybe get one of those tags um, I'd recommend you have a handful of different options that you want, maybe a top three, and then you can jump in here and they will, you'll be logged into your account. They'll give you an option, you know, which unit you want to get deer. And then, um, I'm not sure, I'm not hundred percent sure if you, if you can get a deer and an elk at the same time, um, that'll be something you'll have to, um, just be ready for be able to log in quick you can only buy for yourself so um if you do want to hunt with a partner or someone else they're going to be have to be on a separate device they're going to get a separate number in the pool it's just how how it's working here in idaho um something i'll show you so you go up to hunting here's all the big game season rules these are all for 2022 you can see this note right here they're not coming out to a brochure till 2023 so uh you know dates don't really change but i wouldn't bank on going you know on a very certain day quite yet just focus on the unit and then the zone for elk and you can go from there we have um one thing I really like to use, and I've kind of talked about it in this other video, is um, the, let's see if I can find it, the hunt planner. Super helpful. Um, it'll get you where you need to be, big game season rules, and then right here, the hunt planner. So jump on here, and you come here, so, and then you can come up here, general season. And then once you have an elk zone or a game unit, sometimes it's easier by game unit because you're folk, you, maybe you wanted a deer and an elk. And then again, we're, we're looking at 39 for the Boise River. So come back up here. It'll tell you the, and then we'll click on deer and elk, we don't need to see bear on there. So the regular deer season, you can see there's an anter list. And the way that it works is you, general season, you can hit every, every season that's open. So regular deer, if you have a regular deer tag, you can hunt um, November for does with a muzzle loader. If you have a regular deer tag, you can hunt either antler antlerless or antlered um, with any weapon so there's your rifle season middle of october and then um, if it's and then if you don't get one you still have like that third chance of late late november it's either sex but archery so a little and then you can see there's a little caveat portion of unit 39 so um again and then you can see the elk b tag is just that first week in november it's a bull elk any weapon and then if you get the a tag it's you know two last two weeks in november or two or three weeks it is either sex but it's archery only and it's only a portion of 39 so it looks like elk is only a portion of 39 you know there's there's little caveats but this this will help you um, you know, you can go to any unit. You're like, man, I really want to go deer in. I've heard that they're really good in 46. No idea where 46 is, but you can come up here and I can start seeing, okay, that's the elk a tag South Hills. It's either sex. It runs for three months, but looks like it's only unit 46. It's private. So it's only private property in unit 46. So even, even though it says the South Hill zone, you know, I guess you could use 
if you're hunting 46, they're just little caveats like that. So, um, you know, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment below on the video and then we'll get those and I'll try to answer as best as I can. But I thought I would jump on this video and just show you guys kind of some of these tips and tricks get you guys. If you're thinking about hunting in Idaho, you know, you have eight, nine days left. Well, today's the 22nd. I'll throw this out video tomorrow um, so you can be ready and looking around. Harvest statistics, you know, this is your 2021 general deer harvest statistics. Again, this is the hunting harvest statistics. Boom, we're here. General deer. Um, you want to see which zone had the most success muzzle loader in 64 52 40 you know every single hunter in that zone got a deer did were any of them four points or five points no were they antlered yes but they're small ones it looks like and then a lot of these were doe so you know use this tool to kind of do what you're familiar with any weapon you know you don't want you're not going to do muzzle loader or archery and again, just look at, you know, success. You can see there was a ton of hunters in 36B and 46% of them killed a deer. Looks like 35% or four points. You know, it's just this, it's the game of doing a little bit of research, seeing where it is ge geographically, looking to see if there's any public land that you would be interested in and then going for it. You know, there is a some financial things to think about a deer tag for let's see non-resident deer tag is i know it's 185 dollars uh, for your hunting license and then um so there's our there's that stuff where's the fees um, 100, 185 for your license. So when you buy the tag, you're gonna have to buy your license, 185 and then the deer. On top of that, if it is an archery only, make you're gonna have to get a permit, which is 15, oh, it's $15 for a resident. I'm not sure how much it is for a non-resident, but you have to take a class, blah, blah, blah. So, um, you know, start your research. You got some time. Uh, good luck to everyone that's applying and I will see you out there. Booyah.